up guys, I'm Alpha Excalibur, and welcome back to my 17 Things I Love series. And this time, it's about Shinobi Strikers. And oh boy, it feels great to be back. And with that being said, let's get started. <clears throat> I love how we've known about this game for 8 months and still know almost nothing about it. I love how most people forgot this game existed. I love when you search this game up on YouTube and all you see are disappointment videos. I love how people are calling this the Battle Z and Naruto games. Well, number one, that's not a good thing, since Battle Z was a crappy game, and number two, Battle Z actually had decent marketing. I love how people are actually defending this game. I love the limited character creation options. I love how all the new scans just confirm the obvious. No ship pain's gonna be in the game. It's not groundbreaking information or anything. I love how people are still gonna pay $60 for this trash. I love the empty venue for Shinobi Strikers. I love how people were excusing the flaws of this game by saying it was an alpha. And since my name is Alpha, I love when all my Shinobi Striker videos get disliked just because I said something that triggered a fanboy. I love how the only thing that's going to be striking about Shinobi Strikers is the cells. I love how this game looks visually. I love how Bandai Nemco doesn't even acknowledge this game's existence. I love how we've barely seen any of Boruto, but his name's in the title. I love the people who said this game was going to top fighters. And finally, for number 17! I love how I can't even name a 17th reason. <laughs> No, like, I shit you guys not, I've sat down for like a good half an hour thinking of a 17th reason, but I can't. This game gives me no material. <laughs> Fuck this game. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and all the stuff you people do, and I will see you in the next video. Possibly. Peace. But what's important?